Good morning, guys. How are we all doing? So, Dan from Trading with Dan here. Hope you guys are all well. Um, this is our Bitcoin morning update. So, if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button, and we will go straight over to those Bitcoin Bitcoin charts. So, yeah, as you can see, we have been playing, uh, well, playing pretty nicely um, in this um, in this zone here, in this range, um, which was, as you, if you guys remember, what I, it's normally my go-to um weekend price analysis um of basically staying within the range that we're in so um yeah so far so good um just been testing the top testing the bottom we've tested down to uh, where did we get down to just sub uh, 10 6 um this is obviously the level that you guys know that um is very it's very it's very dear to me this level <laughs> no, it's an important level that we've got we've got to hold basically um and yeah and if we push off there then um yeah i think we'll be looking good um take out 11k then we'll be looking very good take out 12k we'll be looking very very good um so yeah um oh yeah so basically sideways sideways price action um was always the order for the weekend um obviously we've come down pretty hard from the top of the range but um but yeah 200 dollars or so um got we have got a bit of momentum with this move is that enough to break us through we'll have to see um but yeah like i said um it's not necessarily what I'd expect to happen until uh, major markets and CME, CME is open, even if it's just the futures markets, not necessarily the cash markets, which is obviously this evening. So um, we could be getting some sort of resolution first. And also the glaringly obvious um, fact of the pennant that I've drawn here um, obviously has to, um, well, has to have some sort of... Um, well, it doesn't have to, but could potentially have some sort of resolution very soon. Um, I mean, yeah, obviously that trend line near enough. Um, well, a combination of the trend line and the horizontal we had had drawn in is pretty much what um, what did um, smack price down, which is what is to be expected. This is an important level coupled with this horizontal as well. The horizontal alone had been rejecting price. Um, so obviously the horizontal and the um, trend line, downwards trend line as well, um, was going to have extra, um, extra, extra rejection power um so um yeah so we are like i said we are at the end of this um i'm gonna have to just revert to my my go-to comments it will depend what stock markets and the dollar do um when we open the futures and then when we open the cash markets um so we've got to keep an eye on that if we have a nice up week then uh i mean pretty certainly um i would expect bitcoin to resolve um out to the upside of this pennant um and i mean realistically realistically um we've got targets of about 12k <laughs> 12k um that could that could um that could come pre that could come next week basically and then to the downside if we do break this pennant i mean realistically um realistically i'd expect 10k to to go this time 10k to fall and um yeah we're looking around 9k so um there are some big moves that i'm potentially looking and they are pretty much actually very similar moves down to about 9k is um is a 1600 dollars move and up to about 12k or even 12k 100 um is a, about a 1500 dollars move um so um <laughs> there you have it um and it could go either way so um yeah i mean realistically like i said it will depend on what what the wider world markets do if we have a risk on week um it will be a risk on bitcoin is a risk uh, risk asset we will be going up if we have a risk off week we will be um coming down as you can see the dollar index did close um did close pretty strongly had a had a nice close but um again we're at another level where we could definitely get a rejection um, where we definitely could if you look we can get a, we were at a nice um, spot for a rejection even if it's only a temporary pullback but a temporary pullback even down to um, sub 94s potentially even low low 93s um, could um, yeah that could that could give us that break up in Bitcoin and yeah even if we bounce off this 93 area and do go full bullish I mean it's it is, will be perfectly fine price action wise and then we'll get a sell off in Bitcoin <laughs> and that is that is how that is how that will that that is the ebb and flow of that market um stocks as you can see at an important level at an important horizontal at an important diagonal um yeah um if we can if we can push on this week again i would expect to see uh yeah i mean i'd expect to see basically around 3400 this week in the s&p um if we 
if we basically hold hold above here above this trend line above this horizontal so there's there's that's obviously the upside the downside is we just get rejected here come down take out this horizontal and then we come back to our next come aim for our next level um down here um so yeah i mean things do look like they're tightening up well things are tightening up as you can see we've got this this sort of range this sort of range now this sort of range um things are tightening up for a move in much the same way we saw things tightening up for a move in gold um, well, i've gone over to silver anyway but same thing tightening up in the move in the in the price action and then we get a big move um i will show you in gold also tightening up in the price action and then we get a big move so um yeah that's just that's just um <laughs> that's just how price likes to move guys um so we go from high 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 vol leads to low vol leads to high vol leads to low vol etc and so on and so on and that's one thing that you can always rely on that is a um, that is one thing you can always rely on that is all that is the ultimate mean reverse reverting indicator is high vol leading to low vol leading to high vol um obviously it doesn't give any implication of direction um uh, which is why it's great as a mean reverting indicator because it will always mean revert and it doesn't really matter what direction it goes in um so there we go right let's have a look at those stochastics um this weekend four hour coming down um and obviously that has coincided with uh, the toppy four hour has coincided with this move down anyway so that um four hour is playing out um as we as we as we speak um 10 hour 10 hour 10 hour still got room to run um so 10 hours probably what's um actually holding holding the four hour up from breaking that, that 10 to 6 level at the moment um, and then 12 hour 12 hour looking really good and this is the one guys if we get up to here um we'll be we'll be a look we'll wear blah, blah, blah. we'll be above 11k um that is for sure if we get up here in the 12 hour stokes um daily daily looking to turn back up here as well um so that is uh, actually good to see um we got pretty high tried to come back to the bearish bearish um zone and um and are looking like we're going to turn back up at the moment to out obviously doing the the exact opposite looking like it was coming trying to come up to the bullish zone and getting rejected and turning back down so obviously bifurcation between those two um three <laughs> and then three day pointing up again <laughs> so um bullish <laughs> bullish bullish uh well bullish sort of bullish um now i'll call this medium i call this average uh, i call this even um bearish bullish um yeah five day looks like it sort of started to get kinked like it was going to turn back up and now it's turning back down and weekly doing its thing but this is i don't think this is too bad um <clears throat> the more the weekly the more weekly comes down right guys and we don't drop 40 percent um that is just a that is just a is a is a blessing is a bullish reset of um of a very powerful um time frame stochastic so um yep um and then bi-weekly uh, bi-weekly is turning is turning um well it's sorry it's flattening off here but as you can see um there's not well you can see basically it spent most of its time up here as obviously bitcoin has spent a lot of its time going up thousands of percent since the beginning so we can very much hold our own up here anyway so i wouldn't really look to the two weeks as a as a real indication of it being and being a macro high obviously it was here um let's have a look at what happened at this point so 8th of july 2019 um 8th of july 2000 um yes yeah, so literally that was um the candle after the top of the bi-weekly candle um i believe we have we did not even um and we have still yet to um trade above the high of that candle did we trade that did this happen oh no it's not it's because obviously i've got the thing at the end so the higher this candle is lower we had we did not even trade um we have yet to trade higher than the high of the candle that was called by the bi-weekly stokes um so you may say to yourself um <clears throat> well is that it that means we're at the top now but obviously that's one example there but obviously other examples here um the stokes did stay up there so um yeah it's difficult to um well from that from that um data set we have there um it's difficult to extrapolate um basically likely scenarios um so yeah uh, monthly still looking good as well so I mean, all in all, you guys sort of know my view back to the bi-weekly. Um, I am a strong believer in the TD because it is it's fantastic. It's, I've just seen it play out so well on so many markets so many times. Obviously, it's not as simple 
um, as as just blindly trading it. You've got to look for the time frames. You've got to look for the sort of candle types. You've got to look for the patterns, the horizontals. You've got to look for lots of other things. But um, but generally speaking, though, um, they are the, you can usually use them to hunt out um, basically reversals. Um, as they are a good momentum reversal indicator and MRI, as Mr. Um, Tone Tone Vase says, calls it now. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, you can see here bi weekly playing that sideways to down off the bi weekly nine. Last bi weekly nine basically destroyed us. Then the second bi weekly buy got us back up again for a nice bounce, but then we did come down. But you can see the trend here was clearly down, um, but the bi weekly nine got us the nice bounce. So we could have the opposite here, the trend being clearly up. And the bi-weekly getting us a nice down bounce to the downside. So again, that is my view. Um, also, over to the DXY. Uh, DXY and the weekly. Again, again here, you can see it right there. Weekly 9 this time. Um, weekly 9. Um, sideways to up from that. Overall trend is down. Are we just going to place them upside? This is the 1, 2, 3rd candle now. 1 to 4 candle correction. We've got acceleration on this this weekly candle um is this the blow off of this move down and we're now going to turn around and come back down maybe is this the start of a complete uptrend maybe um but um until um things start um well massively deteriorating um in stock markets because i've got to be um, um clear that obviously the economy is basically screwed to a certain extent um so it's really just um just a deterioration in the actual risk assets themselves uh, and not any um and not any um like any sort of general economic information that those risk assets are, are, are potential those price basically price signals that they're meant to be giving on the overall economy that's basically um no longer relevant in this day and age of um of, of manipulated markets but um, what I will say though is that still in this world of um, charts and risk assets and financial markets, if those risk assets do start to come down, i.e. stocks, then um, then yeah, then that will obviously that will obviously give fuel to this dollar moving up, and that will then give fuel to risk assets coming down, and so on and so on, and that could happen. Whether that means the the economy is getting worse or better, or uh, as rate of change is changing, um, is um, is a whole nother story but um but yeah anyway yeah i feel like i feel like i've um i've just spoken enough about that now um so yeah i mean this is kind of what we're looking at i mean i mean you just have to look at this chart though guys and just think bitcoin could easily come down to um well actually <laughs> well you'd like to you'd like to definitely hold this level here um but yeah bitcoin could easily come down to um around seven thousand and still look fantastically bullish um so um yeah let's know no one wants to hear that anyway um but yeah um especially because we do we don't we do trade this um obviously on a smaller time frame basis smaller than a, a bi-weekly but yeah you just look at the bigger scheme of things of what we are what we are playing with here guys um this is what we're doing and then just look how much of a perfect ascending triangle that would be for an absolute explosion to the upside so there's your there's your moon boy there's your moon boy talk for the morning um, so yeah, what are we really expecting? I am just expecting still more sideways. I'm not expecting us to break this range now. I'm expecting for us to bounce probably, probably um, around to the midpoint whilst we await those um, those futures opening. Let's have a look at good old weekend Wall Street. Um, literally doing nothing. Um, let's refresh it. Yeah, nothing, nothing. So let's just ignore that. Um, but yeah, so yeah, tiny formation, just like we saw in gold. We're looking for a resolution. That resolution will uh, most likely be drawn. Um, be, be basically driven by what the stock market is doing much the same way it did in gold um, well obviously ironically it was the gold it was stock markets coming down that dragged gold down with it which um, is not typically what you would expect um, usually um, typically uh, weakness in markets usually drove gold up as a safe haven asset but hey we live in a we don't live in a, um, where anything is everything's pure speculation now nothing's a safe haven asset even bonds pure speculation it's all speculative there are no safe havens um so yeah anyway so there you go guys uh, remember this is not a financial advice i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and i will speak to you guys later on today